Welcome back, Jan Siska, Chapter 5, The Emperor's Fury. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. The Viper, all in or all out? I am all a doubt. As I suspected, even after being humiliated time and again, Emperor Sigismund is still determined to quench the fire started by the great Jan Hus. That two-faced scoundrel invades Bohemia once more with an army of crusaders. I would shed a tear for my homeland, but I no longer have the means. As we besieged Roby Castle, an arrow took my last good eye, ripping away my vision for good. Mercifully, Providence intervened and left my keen wit intact. I am blind, but I see the future clearly. We must deal a crushing blow to Sigismund's army before he can become entrenched for the winter. The bird first out of bed is the earliest fed, as it were. And Sigismund's wit is softened with delusions of grandeur. Our first target is Kutnahora, a town famed for its silver deposits, but infamous for the local nobility's custom of hurling Hussites down mine shafts. Soon retribution shall be meted out to these fiends for their cruelty to our brethren. Sigismund is not alone, however. Riding with him is the fiery Zavisha the Black, our former comrade at Grunwald and bane of the Teutonic Order. I shall spare Zavisha for old time's sake. But any other invading scum can expect justice from the barrel of a firearm and the head of a mace. Good stuff. Kingdom come deliverance, indeed. So, main objectives. Uh, escape Kutnahora and reach your Hussite allies in the north. Jan Siska begins in the Imperial Age and can support a population limit of 100. The Crusader army will not take long to slaughter the Hussite garrison in Kutnahora. You must break through Sigmund's lines and escape before you are enveloped. Or enveloped. When going on the offensive, remember to defeat in detail. Wait, remember to defeat in detail. Prioritize the small Crusader forces. Their resources will still help you improve your army, and each small victory will convince increasingly large groups of local peasants to join your cause. Coordinate with Hussite allies, attack when they are attacking, and help them defend when they are attacked. The Hufnis is a deadly unique Bohemian upgrade to the Bomber Cannon. Use groups of them to destroy fortresses and armies from afar. Oh, we know all about that one, trust me. Jan Siska has decided to abandon Kutnahora and retreat to uh, north to the Hussite village of Colin to recruit reinforcements. Emperor Sigismund uh, blocks Tsitska's path to Colin, besieging Kutnahora with an army of infantry, cavalry, and siege engines. Crusader forces from Sigismund's eastern domains in Hungary have entered Kutnahora with cavalry, swordsmen, and archer units and have taken to slaughtering the Hussite garrison, hoping to take the town and then attack Siska from the rear. The border town of Nemeki Brod defends the main crossing of the Sa Sa Savatsa Tsatsava River and their route to Hungary. The Polish knight turned crusader Savisha, 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 the black Siska's old comrade from the Battle of Grunwald, commands the garrison of Obuk infantry and cavalry. Okay, let's see. I have you now, heretic scum! Talk louder! And one outside of it. But they are both Oh, this is not the best way of engaging. I should have been moving right away, because now I'm in a situation where... Wait, I should just run, I guess. There's no point fighting here. Hurry, my brothers! Salvation lies with our Hussite allies to the north. I am running, man! 
Where's Jan, by the way? I don't have him in my command. I mean, I guess he's blind now. That doesn't help his situation, but... Still. Yes, please. So we will strike him unawares and annihilate his army. We will offer you what we can. But you must help us defend when Sigismund's knights come to kill our families. No! He is escaping! How does this devilish warrior continue to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? Alright, so where we're at. We are at uh, Recapture Kutnahora. Defeat Emperor Sigismund's and Tsavisa to drive the Crusaders from Bohemia. Sure that your Hussite allies are not defeated. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so I guess I will be... I don't have access to any economy, but I guess I will get resources from my allies. But Sigismund will have scattered it about the region to shelter and resupply. We will cut our enemies down, piecemeal, and rekindle confidence in our cause. Savisha. Okay, gotcha. So, let's try and uh, Crusader Knights. I uh, guess that's an army I would like to fight, first and foremost. This army should be fine as well. don't really want to run into this right now. Especially Magar Hussar would completely crush my... My uh, Hussite wagons. We have barracks, we have seed workshop, we have stable, we could make some knights. We make monks as well. I think I will stick with hand cannons now and some bomb cannons. Okay, let's, let's go here first. See what happens when we take one. Very limited on uh, production buildings as well. We've got like two of each. There's a relic there we can grab. We don't have the best upgrades. We can actually hit and run this forever. If we wanted to. With just Arbalest. And not lose a single unit. I got 10 pikemen. I guess it will help if I want to attack the cavalry. So yeah, I guess it's still good. Mm, we can go there. Savisha. Oh, little did you know, sir. I think making the bomber cannons was a mistake. I did not need them this early on. I guess I could also... Could I bait this army into the army of purple? We'll try. Yeah, with this army we should be able to clean up without any big investment. Although they have the upgrade. Okay, we bait. Hey, we're using the Hussite wagons the way they're intended, kind of. Yeah, they did not chase us too far. So I guess that strategy does not work. Makes me wonder if I can kill the units with my bomber cannons from afar. And then take it from there. Just champions left. Don't really want to use loose any units when we have access to this few. Okay, that one's cleaned up. Yay! More spearmen! Hooray! 
Exciting. Wait, what? Red is attacking? This was not part of the plan. Uh, I think we have enough, but still. Yeah, it should be fine. As long as purple loses all his troops, I don't I don't care. As long as my troops stay alive. Most important. Out of position. We have enough here. Oh, we even got more troops. Working on it. Yeah, that was good. Oh, I guess we got for destroying these units. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, let the pikemen get involved. All good. Very cost-effective trade so far. Can't complain. You have plenty of resources. Maybe... Oh, you know what? You can go for the hoof hoofness. We can already go for Hufnis. Yeah, Elite Magar has our champion, our blessed. That's fine. We can we can take care of that. Uh, rebels might be something here. Besides wolves, maybe not. Guess not. Oh, that was expensive. Should not have done that. Um, I guess I need the bomb cans to take red out here. Only have one though. We'll fix that. Woofness is the longest research in the game, I think. Or one of them, anyway. Takes forever. I'm gonna waste. So far, so good. Well fought, brothers. Inspired by our defeat of these crusaders, more crusades now flock to join our those wagons are actually doing a really good job of tanking. Yeah, we're getting more troops now. 15 units now instead of 10. And we need the hoofness to live. Stop attacking the rams, please. I'm a little bit too wasteful here. I'm starting to feel like this maybe wasn't worth it. I lost all my infantry units. It was obviously poor micro on my end. I'll take some criticism. But my units were shooting the rams so long. Shoot. Okay, all good. Still have enough though, I think, to start making a push. But it wasn't great. Would love this upgrade as well. Wait, are they Teutons? Oh, please don't tell me that they have... Okay, they don't have the range. Whew. They had uh, 8 plus 5 crenellations. That would have been rough. Yeah, someone said something after the last campaign. Like, could I do, like, if I have 13 range as well, could I just do target fire next to the castle? Remain out of range and still destroy it. I think that might be possible. It makes a lot of sense. I think one should do that. There is a relic indeed. There's also a blue army here. Uh, live! Okay. I think purple may have enough to defend. I'll make some arbalists just in case, but I think he, I think he's fine, right? I think so. 
Hope so. I don't think you can do that because the castle ranges from the edge of the castle right with the castle ship. But with the splash damage of Hoofness, which is quite large, I think it might be possible. But yeah, I don't actually know. Okay, I mean, purple lost all their troops, but they survived, so it's fine. I think we can take out Emperor Sigmund here completely, right away. Let's open the gate and carry on. Who's actually helping him? Will do, as long as you supply me with these resources. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, there. I'll keep that, the next couple of units that I'm making, I'll keep them at the base, just in case. Because we need to keep our ally alive. But I feel like we have enough here to clean up everything. What? How did I miss that? Yeah, there we go. First time, first stream since you won Red Bull. Congrats, love you. Uncle Iroh, thank you, man. What is this attack? There's a relic there that I wanted to grab. Forgot about that one. Oh no! Live! Please, you're so expensive. Okay. Yeah, this is the issue of not having melee units around. Okay, uh, where's my monk? Get out of the tower. Go collect the relic. Okay. Would have probably been safer to send more units here, but... Furor! I hate rams with passion. Should probably take the siege workshop first. Make it easier on myself. I have a lot of troops here. I could use them. I fear that my obush have a date with you. He pronounced it obush. Is that how it's pronounced? Wait, I lost the bomber cannon. What? Obush. I didn't know it was pronounced like that. It's not pronounced like that? He said Obush. Why would he say that in an com uh, official campaign if that's now how, how it's pronounced? Yeah, they do have more here. I guess we might have to work our way through that as well, but it should be fairly easy. It's Obu. That was Obuk. 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 Confuse you. Fair enough. Mission accomplished. Let's see, maybe this is also enough to make them resign or throw in the towel, losing the castles. I guess not. Man. Boom, one shot. PC should be the final blow for them. Was I able to get the relic? Oh, I was. Would you look at that? I think we could send this army to... Where's my army again? Oh, hiding. Yeah, alright. So Emperor Sigismund is gone. What do they have here? Magar Hussar. How many? I only have three hubs. Uh, maybe I'll bring my cannons with me. Deal some extra damage. Uh, no, the news will be announced in roughly an hour. So, um, being a bit greedy here. Should have enough though. Actually, I don't have too much here. <laughs> we need to micro this a lot.
Might not be the most cost-effective trades that I'm going for here. Safe pair option here is definitely waiting as well on this side. But that's not like me. Oops, I may have killed a deer. Misclick. Yeah, let's see. You just need to hit and run here. Forever. Wait, do they, they don't have armor upgrades at all. They have plus one armor. Or is that plus two? I guess it's the second armor upgrade. Well, then it's an easy cleanup. Oh! This is an easy cleanup as well. Didn't expect to get attacked here, though. It's actually nice. When you target fire... When you target fire in the area where the AI is moving, they will try to avoid the projectiles, and therefore they never ended up attacking me. This was perfect, actually. Most cost-effective fight I could have ever done. And we didn't lose a single unit down here either. Cannot complain. Yeah, let's see if we can do a cost-effective trade here as well. Pikeman in front. And we're good. Perfect. Kind of. Could have been better, but it's still very nice. <gasps> Why would you shoot there? <laughs> God, I killed too many of my own units. One, two, three, that was at least six units. God damn it! Sabotaged by the Hussite, uh, the Hufnis. It, it's fine. Yeah, another one bites the dust. We are getting a sizable army. Get some more Hufnis. Oh, I can do this one as well. Can we do some damage from afar here? I think we can. Maybe even enough to trigger them to attack us. And then they run into our blockage. Blockade. Man, this is perfect. They're trying to get the cannons. Stop! No! Guys, Hoofness is the worst unit in the game. They do not care about their friends at all. What is that? Why would they even shoot there? Uh, okay, I mean, we'll clean up this one and we'll group up with the other army, I guess. Is Grey alive? Grey is... I'm not sure if alive is the right word. But they are there. Wait, do I not have enough to even clean this up? Come on, you're kidding me. Should we have another one? No? That should be another one. Well fought, brothers. Okay, um... I mean, what is, the, what is in here? This is Kutnahora. I guess I just take it back by moving army in there. I'm not sure exactly how it works. And I don't expect there to be, like, towers or castles or anything in there. Oh, we didn't get Hoofness there. Not bad. Let us salvage what we can and leave this dismal place. Uh, we have ramps here. Stop shooting at our own allies, man. I do not trust these Hoofness wagons at all. 
Okay, uh, what do we have? There's a relic there, potentially. I want to clean this army as the last Crusader cohort. Oh, I should not have attacked without military. What am I doing? Purple, help! Help! Okay, I think we're fine. Okay. A little bit useless, but okay. Okay, well, most of them live. Oh, purple is my ally! <laughs> yeah, it makes sense that those. I did not have to defend against those rams. Happens, okay. Could it happen to anyone? Rams is my worst enemy. Working on it. I'll send this squad around to clean up that. That's the last cohort. My population limit is about to be reached. But we have a lot of units now. So I do not worry about that. Don't think I can be bothered going for that relic. It's such a long walk to get to my monastery. Elite Obuk. I have full upgrades as well. Obuk is actually an insanely good unit. Is that a Mangano I saw there? Oh, it's just a ram. Boom. I think we'll make short work of Savisha. This point. Yeah, there's a relic up there as well. I have all my resources I could possibly need anyway. I don't think the relics matter. He's a poet and he knows it. Okay, last supplies. Thank you. Should be a fairly straight forward. My biggest enemy is honestly my own uh, hoofness. That's my biggest worry at this stage. Not sure what these rams are even up to. They have a, an identity crisis there. Six. Oh man, the damage output is so good with these. Especially with the hill. Alright, down it goes. I think that may be it. Let's see. No, that was not it. <gasps> uh, the ram. Okay. I should probably take out the scene workshop. Because it's right there. That is the biggest worry. And I'm guessing we're going to find like... Uh, yeah, thanks for scouting, purple. I think the TC there will be the last thing that they have to offer. Yeah, a little bit late to add a blacksmith. Why would you even add a blacksmith? You have full upgrades. Makes no sense. Okay, let's do it. Let's finish it. Savisha's fortress is ours, and with it, the path to Moravia. Bring me, Zavisha, and fetch us chalices full of the sacrament. Victory! What are those volumes changes? I'm upping the volume sometimes when dialogue is expected. It, it, I have a various success with that. Uh, 
The issue is still that the dialogue blind, is my mind's aligned with the sound and game. And there are few things quite so sweet as witnessing an overconfident fool like Sigismund degenerate into a despondent wretch. His frustration is my elation. His despair, the question that I would spend the rest of my days answering if I could. As the battle unfolded, I could all but see the determination of loyal Hussites as they fixed the Taraznice guns to the wagons. The volleys of bolts and bullets that tore through Sigismund's ranks, and the torrents of blood that stained the once pure blanket of snow a deep scarlet. I could even picture Zavisha's wry grin as he mused that a blind man had taught him a crucial lesson that no one else could to expect the unexpected. With Zavisha ransomed home to Poland and Sigismund finally beaten back, I sense that Jan Hus's dream of a free, righteous Bohemia is close to becoming a reality. Crazy. It must be crazy to live back in those times. How pointless things must have felt. Going to war travel weeks and weeks to go to war for these random guys that are apparently in charge with the power yeah we pretty much covered the whole map don't think there's anything we missed in here we also didn't have villagers either I like those missions where you don't have villas because it, it feels like you're, you're you have a uh, there's more threat, let's put it like that. Because if you waste troops, you are in big danger of losing the potential mission. However, uh, don't think this mission in particular was uh, a mission of worry on that uh, point. But yeah, let's... Uh, uh, achievements here, not much to see. Oh, wish I did one more research. <laughs> right. So, that was uh, the Emperor's Fury. I think we have one more to go, which is Warrior of God. I'll see you for that one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.